Hello, people! My name is Rage, and welcome with it all to Isaac After the Birth and our Eden streak. And I think we can confidently say, with maybe 96.75 uh, six recurring, of course, certainty, that everything is getting kind of real on the Eden streak. And I have a massive grin upon my face that the Cheshire Cat himself would find most amusing to the point where he would be a jealous little catty. Yes, he would. He would go, I'm jealous. I don't know how the Cheshire Cat sounds. I'll, I'll admit. We'll turn the extra hood off. We've had it on for a while, and uh, I just realized something. This is actually a curse in disguise. Uh, because we are Dr. Fetusing, which is a great start. Don't get me wrong. That's a wonderful way to begin an Eden run, and should, in theory, be almost a guaranteed my... Oh, never mind. We're okay. Everybody's fine. <laughs> to say, it should in theory be a guarantee continuation to my streak, because Dr. Fetus at the start, I mean, that is power. Ooh. How do we have lost contact bombs? Do that, does that mean my bombs actually block tears now? I genuinely don't know if that's the case. But what I do know is it's kind of terrifying only having bombs at the same time as having one red heart as my only source of health. So there was a part of me that was convinced we were just going to blow ourselves up, and that's how the Eden Street was going to end. A first floor self-death. And I feel like uh, when we're on path for Fort Bloody Teen, that's not good. Also, 14 sounds like a teen fort. Like, as in, like a, like a, as, like a, like a, as in, like a, like a what, what, like a what, what, in, like a zin, yeah, yeah. That's my mixtape dropping soon, because of course that, that shit is mad dope. No, in the run! Okay, that, that was, that was fine. Oh god. Oh god. All I can ever imagine when someone says 14 is a fort as in like a small wooden castle structure only for teenagers. And as soon as you get old enough, you just get extradited from the place and you are never allowed to return. And we don't care about any of that. I feel like it's going to be a while before we get a better trinket than the one we started with. Simply because of our first item room giving us some mad spirit heart finding capability. Which, let's be honest, we're going to need because... Uh, we are going to be hurting ourselves a lot with bombs. So this is very interesting, a run right here. But I'm excited. I am. I am definitely excited. Hey, Pin, I've got a present for you. Did you like it? I mean, he seemed to run away from his present. So maybe he wasn't that much of a fan of it. Pin, protecting his little baby, but not for long, for his little baby is now dead, and he's gone to baby heaven. Though actually, baby heaven wouldn't make sense, because how could you have a heaven only populated by babies? Because babies don't know how to human, so they'd be, like, pretty terrible, wouldn't they? I think that maybe now I need to go find the shop. You know, I'm just saying it gets to the point where probably we should go look to spend some money. Is there soon? No, no super secrets. Like, what up with my super secrets? Where they at, yo? Where they at? One for you, and one for you! Bombs for everyone! Oh, come on! Really? A secret rock full of bombs when I've got infinite bombs? I, I just feel like that's maybe just someone messing with me, honestly. At least with this, I can blow through there so I don't have to worry about doing the maze twice. So that's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Oh, I say! Oh, indubitably! <laughs> You know, one often finds that when entering the shop on the first floor, a glorious sight doth be to uh, look upon a golden options and then purchase it with post haste. <laughs> Sometimes I want to meet someone who actually talks like that, just so I can listen to them and, and maybe ask why, you know? Just, just ask why, why they do what it is that they do. And I just want to know their answer. I really, really do. Oh, 
Okay, that was um, a little bit terrifying, but you know, it worked out in the end. Why was there just randomly half a red heart in that rock? That, that seems just a really weird place to have it, but that's fine. Hello? Nothing crazy going on in here, but that's okay. We don't have the money to buy anything anyway, unless this is all giving us as much as it looks like it is. But alas, alack, tis not. Uh, all right, so we need to find our item room. Oh, I've got a story to tell you guys today. I really do. And uh, no, no, I, I don't really. I've got a story to tell you guys. Actually, I'm lying. <laughs> oh, God, I am the worst of the worst. Either way. Did I tell you about the time that I tried to steal a cat? Okay, this this one. Now, don't judge. Okay, don't instantly judge. Basically, all right, I like collecting rare animals. You know, I'm, I'm not that I've got any. I mean, a skink and a bearded dragon, while wow, cool, you know, and I love my little lizards. I do. I know. I know. I'm just, I'm such a proud lizard father. That just sounds weird, actually. That sounds like something really messed up happened one time. You know, I was tripping out. I was in the desert, and I saw this giant lizard, and Oh man, things got weird. <laughs> Why would I joke about that? The insinuation here is terrible. Either way, <laughs> justice will do. Oh god. But no, I like I like what I perceive to be rare animals. And so the other day I saw a pure white cat from head to toe, 100% white. And I was like, that's really neat. And it was kind of hanging around the back garden and meandering around. It kept trying to get us to give it attention. It kept looking like it wanted food, but it was also pretty scared of us, you know. It, it basically, ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. I think we don't want to get rid of uh, Dr. Fetus just because it's too good. So we'll basically have a backup life. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. So this uh, white cat was meandering around, looking a little bit lost, looking a little bit like it wanted some help, but, you know, still being reasonably shy of humans. Basically, it was exhibiting all the traits of a stray cat. So I was like... Anybody feel like a pet cat? I'm, I'm gonna go catch that cat. Everyone was like, are you seriously gonna go catch that cat? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go catch that cat. So I would, <laughs> as you do, because, you know, I was gonna go catch that cat and make it our new pet, and then that was lovely. You know, it was, it's a solid plan. I don't care what you say. So I went outside and started trying to hunt this cat down, looking for it under things, and trying my best to get it, chasing it around the place when I saw it, and, and you know, you can imagine the general shenanigans of me trying to hunt down and catch this random cat. So after about maybe 15 minutes or so of getting close to but not quite catching it, the next door neighbor comes outside and goes, uh, I, oh, I've forgotten the name of the bloody cat. But either way, next door neighbor comes outside and calls a name. And at this point, I have a kind of, you don't think think that maybe this cat has an owner. So I, I call back at the next door neighbor and go, are you looking, Serpent's Gist, way better. And I go, are, are you looking for a cat? And they're like, yeah, pure white cat. And I was like, oh, oh, it's, it's, it's here. And I point underneath the decking that it had crawled that I was trying to coax it out of so I could steal it. And they're like, oh, yeah, it likes to go to there. And I'm like, oh, does it? Does it? Yeah, I was just, I was just seeing, seeing if it was, okay, I'm, I'm going to go in now. I'm, I'm going to go back inside. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, fortunately for me, I found out that this cat actually belonged to our neighbors before I'd managed to catch it, bring it inside, and decide that it was now my cat. That very nearly went so... Oh, that was the first bit of damage I took. So sad. It so nearly went so very wrong on so many levels that I don't even really want to think about it. Can you imagine if I'd stolen the neighbor's cat? In fact, I shouldn't ask you guys that because you're probably all going to go, yeah, I can I can totally imagine you stealing the neighbor's cat, Rage. I mean, come on now. This is, this is you we're talking about. So thanks, by the way. You know, really appreciate your confidence in me. But it was just, oh, it was awkward. 
It was very, very awkward. I still don't know if they actually realized that I was trying to steal their cap. Like, I have no idea if it was a coincidence they happened to come outside or if one of them go, there seems to be this, like, lunatic trying to steal our cat outside. Should we, should we go deal with that? And they were like, yeah, I'll go, I'll go handle it. I, fuck it. I just, I just don't care. <laughs> Taking those pies is just not worth it. It is just genuinely not worth it. Oh, I tried. I tried so hard. Hey, we can get Serpent's Kiss Black Hearts from bombs. That's awesome. I mean, yes, I did see them becoming poison bombs every now and then. But, you know, I had to make sure. I just had to make sure. Oh, Ah, oh, good times. All right, we'll get a little bit of damage, and we'll grab an extra spirit heart. In fact, we'll blow him up as well, just in case. Nothing going. All right, that's fine. May as well get this battery, see what else we get. I think at this point, maybe the curved horn I take, but that's about it, because honestly, this um, child's heart is really good, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say, but, you know, don't underestimate children's hearts until you try them. What can I say? What can I say? Well, I have quite a large vocabulary. What words would you like me to say? And then we'll see if we can come up with a decent list that you guys would like to hear. You know, that's all I'm saying. Have you guys ever accidentally done something like that? Please tell me I'm not the only one that's tried to steal your friend's pet. Like, please tell me this is, this is not happening. I mean, I once stole a... Pokemon card off someone because I was really jealous of it and I really really wanted it I was like six years old and they dropped it on the playground So I put my foot over it so they couldn't see it and I was like, I don't know where it went I didn't see where it went and then they gave up and I was like, ha ha ha, it's mine I still have that card in a box at my mum's house. So <laughs> I still feel horrible Oh, man. And I, my, actually, my eight-year-old self once got in a fight with someone over a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Basically, when I was little, I took card-based things very seriously. Honestly. Like, you know, they, they meant a lot to me, apparently. Oh, all right, what do you got for us? Hey, not bad. I'll take that as a sign to go in here and blow the hell up out of that. The leash is not bad. It really isn't. But at the same time, okay, I guess I guess that's a sign. At the same time, it does nothing for us when we have literally no followers. I mean, maybe if I found Incubi and it's flapping wings of flappiness, but that's like the lamest thing to have equipped, isn't it? Congratulations, you found new loot. The flapping wings of flappiness. Flappiness crafted eons ago by Icarus himself. Uh, although I guess it was Icarus's mentor, not Icarus himself, that did the crafting. That, of course, was not tactical damage. I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy! You are crazy! It is going to be very sad if we have a first floor golden options and don't actually find any ridiculously good items. Granted, ooh... I think we simply just want pure damage when we're Dr. Fetusing. Being able to fire more bombs at once is more dangerous to us than it is to anyone else. I may as well do that because we couldn't get in here without, so, you know, I may as well actually take the opportunity to open that gold chest, because, you know, I'm a firm believer in fate, and if fate decided that we needed to telepills uh, inside here, then I am going to trust in it, and stop being hit by this peep, which I seem to be really good at getting repeatedly hit by, and uh, I'm gonna make it happen, you know? I'm gonna make it happen. If you wanna, if you wanna, like, have a few bombs, friend, that would be lovely. Come on, charge it me, charge at me, charge at me, charge at me! Why will you not charge at me? I know you're feared, but still. Boom, boom, there we go. Pop, pop, pop. It's gonna suck for Chubb, actually. I've never really thought about it, but he explodes from his tail to his face, which means he has to experience and go through sitting there in agony. Like, like imagine if your feet exploded into a shower of blood. It would hurt like hell and you'd be bleeding to death, but you would still be alive, you know? Like, you would you would be fine for the most part, but, you know, your feet have just exploded. So how do you think that would make you feel? Probably not great, if I'm honest with you. And then not only that, after your feet explode, the rest of your legs then explode, so you're still, like, in shock as this horrible thing is happening to you. And then it continues, and your torso explodes, and then finally, the sweet mercy of final death uh, as your head explodes. But I mean... 
At that point, do you even care anymore? Because I don't think that you do. All right, we want to keep our purity just in case we get a curse of the blind or something equally annoying as that. Did he really survive a bomb? I mean, what's my damage like? Not great. To be fair, really, really not great. I mean, maybe I took the wrong thing. No, but a 10% damage down with Dr. Fetus would really suck. So I don't think the Thin Mushroom would actually have done anything. I feel like we're going to go through every single trinket on this run. I've just kind of got that impression going on, which, to be fair, isn't that bad, is it? Though I still don't think even the Ram's Horn would be better. I really, really don't. I don't need to buy a Spirit Heart. I think we can save for the next floor. So let us move on with our lives. We did get the secret room. Not a bad secret room as well. Cancer, obviously, is normally an incredible thing to have. But in this, I mean, I'll pick it up and I'll see what it does for us. See, it is kind of nice to be able to do that and fire lots of bombs. Maybe I keep it. Maybe I don't need the child's hat. Maybe I'm okay with the amount of health that I do have. I know it's a risk, I really do, but at the same time, I, I think it's one that we can take. We may as well do all this, see what we get, nothing crazy. Did I actually see what this pill was? A health up, don't mind if I do. Then we can grab that and move on, mainly for devil deals, I will accept, but you never know when extra health might come in handy. Oh, I really thought that would kill all of them, but alas, alack, it did not. See, in this situation, being able to fire loads of bombs like that is very good, I have to admit. And it's a nice way to get tears without the negatives of something like the Thin Mushroom, so potentially this will turn out a-okay. Who is our boss? The Stainy! Good old Stainy boy. Good old Stainy boy. Hey, look at that! The bomb knocking! That is how you do it! And now he is dead. Still no devil deal. That is interesting. The range is very good to get there. And our damage is kind of, you know, it's kind of getting there. That's fine. Although we're not going to make the boss rush. Granted, we don't have a way to take a free boss rush item. And uh, I generally, unless we have unbelievably ridiculous bomb combos, like tier bombs as well, I generally don't like doing the boss rush on Dr. Fetus. Because it just ends up kind of killing you more than it does anything else, at least in my experience. So I'm really okay to not get to the boss rush. Don't stab me! That was very close! That was genuinely very close. There's not really much I can do about that. I do like that it poisons both halves, though. Like, that makes it so much better to deal with. And get exploded. Get exploded. Did I find a host? I did find a host, but now he is dead. Poor host. Is he gonna die of the poison? He should do. Well, he didn't. That's so, so sad. How would that even work with bombs? It, it doesn't. All right, I guess I guess my question has been immediately answered. What do we got in here? Oh, snap. That's what I like to see. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? All right, we'll grab the lovers. I did not expect instant invisible zombies on my face there, so that is definitely my bad. Though I actually lost a bit too much health for my liking there. I don't know. I mean, I'm starting to maybe think about possibly kind of considering regretting keeping cancer. Hey, Godhead, however, is nice. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit late for a Godhead, but still, it's something. And then just a load of stuff in that chest, so that's fine as well. All right. Then onwards, so we've now got at least two devil deals and then assuming no unlucky XL It would actually be cool if the guys could cancel an XL if you use it on an XL It just resets the floor and you go again from a normal floor But I feel like that would be really really strong and probably irritating to implement more than anything. Oh, come on! That just catapulted it into me. I feel like I just got really cheated. I really do. And of course, oh no, we're on Necro 1. It's four more Devil Deals. For some reason, I just assumed we were on Necro 2. So this is actually a fine place to find ourselves with a uh, go goat head. I did it. I called it goat head instead of ow head. Though who would call it our head? Am I right? I'm right. Samson's Ball and Chain or the lovely, lovely Kinstone. I think what we can say is Samson's Ball and Chain is infinitely more useful and I would rather keep the D6 over Purity. So 
we are going to do just that. Uh, well, at least he's going to die from the poison, so we got that going. In fact, a part of me is wondering why I'm even killing this room. Like, it has no real purpose, and I'm there just taking a load of damage trying to beat it, which seems like a very silly decision on my part. Thank you, free spirit heart. I appreciate it. And 48 hour energy, so let's keep it going. I still think... Ah, I mean, how much damage is this? Like, it goes to... I mean, it is nice, isn't it? I mean, how fast can I fire bombs without it? It's not that slow. I think I would rather get more oomph per bomb than I would the amount of bombs I'm firing. I mean, maybe that is the wrong thing. Maybe. But I, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like that's the way to go. Oh, come on! That sucks. What an annoying room there. What an annoying room. It is, it's weird to me that Samson's Ball and Chain doesn't come with a speed down. Like, you'd think it, oh, not that we can get to the boss rush, so I guess there's no point in me even worrying about that. I guess I should get the skulls just in case to a spades. A lovely amount of keys and nothing crazy in there. So that is very, very sad. I mean, I suppose I should at least get back to my Degas and use it for the spirit heart and just to clear the curse of darkness on this floor more than anything because at least I get some use out of it. But we shall see. Uh, no, actually, I'm just going to use my D20 shard on it and then change it into something completely useless. That seems like a really good decision, if you ask me. I mean, a part of me does want to dig through all these skulls, but there's nothing I'm desperate for. And, uh, I mean, who really likes a bit of skull digging? Because, I mean, I'm not partial to it. Somebody told me one day that I have to go digging through a pile of human skulls. I'd, I'd probably be inclined to go, can I not maybe do that? That, if that's cool with you, yeah, all right, lovely. And one more trinket. God, we have seen so many trinkets. Just so many trinkets. All of the trinkets. Of course, the one that doesn't die is the one that's chasing me. You know, of, of all the options there. Thanks, game. Hey, Brownie, how are you doing? Pretty good? I hope not, because I don't want to die. I mean, I'm sorry, I know that's rude to, you know, hope that you're not actually doing well, but at the same time, you know, it's you or me, and in that situation, you're gonna die like a bitch. Um, no black heart, unfortunately, but we do get another health up, and... Crampy boy! Yay! I mean, if we get Krampus's head, at least we get a good spacebar item now that we are content with... Uh, the uh, trinkets that we have, so that's kind of nice to see there. Because obviously Lump of Coal doesn't do a right lot for your average Dr. Fetus. I mean, maybe for your above average Dr. Fetus, it does wonders. But for your average Dr. Fetus, not great. I really one day want an actual real-life doctor to be called Dr. Fetus. Just because I'd have to look at him twice when he introduced himself. And also probably be very scared if he ever had to do anything more than just give me a basic checkup. Because I feel like I'd wake up with like a bomb wired inside my stomach. And, you know, it's, it's just me maybe, but I don't really want a bomb wired inside my stomach. I'm just saying, it's it's not really something I ever thought I'd want in my life, and it's still not something I really want in my life. Okay, so we've got ourselves yet another black heart. Cricket's head, of course, would be amazing to find. That would make our bomb damage go through the roof, but as it stands, it's not something we can do. Uh, our final double item room, then. I mean, I'm hoping for something with a little kick. Even just 2020 would be amazing. Evil Eye is interesting. I feel like that would be terrible with Dr. Fetus, though, because of all the extra bombs, so... I guess we're finding secret rooms! Ah, yeah, yeah! As good as that is. I mean, to be fair, we might get a really good secret room, so I guess I should try. Oh, oh, I'll take this as a sign. Explosive diarrhea, wonderful. And then a telepills. Great. Just great. Obviously, I didn't re-roll with the D6, because I'm saving that for the chest to get maximum re-roll potential, and uh, that is really unfortunate that we got robbed of both shops there, I, I have to say. Maybe I should have deliberately uh, picked up the uh, rib of... Oh, no, the rib of greed wasn't on this floor. Okay, that's fine, because if it was, it definitely would have made tactical sense to pick it up just temporarily to guarantee a actual shop instead of... Oh, my God! This has been the longest... Longest I've ever gone in a while without remembering the seed. I am so sorry. Never can with a kicking cur, cause I'm cool like that. Never can. D's 
six servants visit Siberia. They just can't, okay? It's all well and good having servants, but you've got to remember to not let them go near Siberia. Otherwise, they will mutate into monster servants. And then they will take their revenge upon you. And if there's one thing that you don't want in this life, is monster servants taking their revenge. Trust me, I've had enough servants try and take revenge in my time. I mean, that's why they're servants instead of slaves. You know, it, it makes sense. I upgraded them 1S. Can you actually upgrade with S? Alright, you start out as a slave. Okay, we're gonna play the upgrade S game. I'm liking this. You start out as a slave, then you go to a servant, then you go to a savant, then maybe you go to a... I don't know, you'd end up as a sovereign, which is royalty. So you've got that going for you, but we need some in-betweens. A sailor? A sailor makes sense. I guess that would be a bit of an upgrade, but still not amazing. Then a sausage maker? <laughs> Why did I go in there? Why did I go in the cursed room? Oh, I wonder if anything has changed in that room I've already been in. I'm not really sure how I got hit by brimstone there, but I don't think I have any right to complain at this point. Are you a wizard? Yes. Yes, I am. Thanks, pill. <laughs> So, a slave, then a servant, then a sausage maker, then a sailor, then a Supreme Court Justice, then a Sovereign, then a... a Circus... No, that's a C. That's a C. Damn it! Help me out here, guys! I need, like, titles and jobs that begin with S that we can form in an order in order to give someone a promotional path, like those stupid mobile games you get adverts for that show you, like, a level 1 dude in plain brown clothing and then show you him at level 4 and he's, like, Flame God of Death. Uh, uh, maybe that's just me, but you, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe that's that explains gangsters. You know, the classic, uh, you know... Are you talking to me? You know, those types of people. Maybe, right? They're just really bad at explaining things, so they constantly have to go, You know what I'm talking about! And uh, you really don't, but you just kind of have to accept it. And because people don't understand them all the time, that's why they're really angry and always trying to kill people. It makes perfect sense when you think about it stupidly. And that's Classes with Rage. I don't know, I think I'd be a funny teacher. I mean, I might not, I'm not saying I'd be a good teacher, but I'm saying I'd be a funny teacher, and, you know, that's that's half the battle. You know, that, that is definitely half the battle. So we're gonna get a devil deal here. Fortunately, we are definitely too late when it comes to the boss rush. Again, not that that matters. Small rock, very nice to get there. And boom, bada boom. Can't get that health, so devil deal. Oh, oh, man. Oh, don't mind if... Oh, what? I thought... I thought... I thought getting brimstone makes your bombs fire brimstone, or is that just epic fetus? I'm so sad right now. I am so sad. Well, we'll get Spooky Spirit of the Night, and then we'll get into Dimensional Baby, just because now we get shielding constantly from Polaroid, but I was so happy. Why does that not affect Dr. Fetus as well? That's so sad. Why, Edmund? Why? Why would you not make the Dr. Fetus bombs also blow up into Brimstone? I mean, surely that's what everyone wants. I'm just... That is crushingly upsetting. It really is. I just, I don't know if I can ever recover from that just disappointment. That was worse than the time that somebody burned all of my birthday presents in front of me and told me I'd never be happy again. I mean, it just, you know, I never thought I'd have a more unhappy memory than being trapped in a cage for six months because I refused to catch a squirrel. I just, you know, those were my dog years. But either way, it's just... It's just upsetting, you know? Just really, really upsetting. And I don't know how I feel about this. Tell no one of what I just said, by the way. Tell absolutely no one, because because I will deny it vehemently. Yeah, you don't see that word used very often, do you? A bit of vehemence all up in here. But I will engage in vehemence so hard, so help me! That's a lot of tears, actually. That, that's really quite a lot of tears. That was almost... Th oh, no, it did hit me. It did hit me. It was threatening, but then I immediately got a lot of health back. So, I guess... You tried, Room? You tried. Did he just attract the bomb to himself, which then killed him? 
Because if so, that is quite amusing. How did they all survive? Well done, them. Oh, okay, that guy was invincible, so he's definitely cheating. But the rest of them, not bad. I mean, they're kind of happy we found a battery just before that. That gives me a very good excuse to use it. Interesting. I'm, I'm not sure what that lust was doing there, I, I have to say. I'm going to take the health up just because I'm pretty sure we'll probably end up with a, another devil deal, right? I mean, it seems likely. I mean, obviously the devil deal itself is guaranteed. I mean a devil deal that has actual devil deal items in. Looks like I have gone completely the wrong way, though, so that's very upsetting. There was a spirit heart in here. I swear I took it. I am positive I took it. Okay, have I gone completely the wrong side? I, I feel like I haven't, though, because there was not much anywhere else, unless I really am just going crazy, but who knows at this point? Who really knows? Down we go! Oh, this, this room. Yeah, I remember this room. This room was great. Just loved this room. Absolutely thought this room was amazing. I'm gonna kill it because knowing me, I'm gonna wander back here and try that room again. Like, oh, maybe it was actually this way I was supposed to go. Maybe I was wrong, and then I'm gonna have to deal with that fact. And pop. I do feel kind of bad for them. I mean, I don't know why they can't charge back a bomb that's like a 20th of the size of them. You'd feel like they would have the kind of strength to do that, especially when they literally charge full speed at me like nobody's business. But I guess that's what we just got to deal with at this point. I guess it is. Okay, bomb bada bum looking good. And anything here? Hey, don't mind if I do. Give me those sweet, sweet items. Come on, Mask of Infamy is really nice to see. What the hell happened there? I'm not even really sure, honestly. I feel like I just got ripped off a little bit, but that is okay. Hopefully, we can kill him with poison bombs. Did that count? I mean, he ate one. Yay! It did count. Ain't that just convenient? I say, I say, ain't that just the best? All right, as long as we get a, another devil deal, then everything is going to work out a-okay. Because every little thing is going to be okay. So what are your guys' prediction for when I'm going to fail my Eden streak? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, how awesome is it that I didn't have to use Eden for any of the Seeds of the Weeks this week? So we got to keep our actual streak from last week, which is fantastic. Hopefully, we can keep that going. But you never know when it comes to finding Seeds of the Week. You never, never know. That was a lot of tears suddenly over there. Although, by the way, thanks to all of you guys that were like, to be fair, Rage, I thought you'd fail at like two. So, I mean, you're doing really well. While I appreciate that complicult, I really do. Come on, have some faith. I've at least played this game enough to have a reasonable chance at this. Come on now. How have I not found the boss? This is just depressing. It really is. I mean, it's got to be this way, right? As much as I love killing those guys forever, I'm just going to accept that maybe that's not for me right now. Don't do... Uh, I mean, at least we killed them both in one bomb, so I suppose it's not too bad. And how you doing, Triacnid? You're dead now. You tried, though. You did try. The tears up isn't horrible, to be fair. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not horrible. Ooh, I mean, obviously Dark Bum is the way to go here, and I think we take Guppy's Collar anyway, just on the off chance we get a double Guppy follow-up devil deal on the next floor. That, that seems like a good strategy on our part. Anything crazy going on in here? I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know, walking in there and seeing a dance-off between a group of skeletons and a group of zombies. I mean, I would consider that definitely up there on the crazy scale. By the way, shout out to you if you're thinking, wait, don't I know somewhere that that happened? Because if you do and you remember the game, then I am excited for you. Bard's tail, what, what? I don't know where I'm going with this, and I just placed a normal bomb because I'm just cool like that. We have 90 coins. Dark bomb, can you do me a favor? and convert to a normal bum that takes coins and then if more my coins can drop out of me and then we can get like a bajillion spirit hearts granted we could only take four of them but you know it would be cool to see them pouring everywhere all over the floor just oh those blue raspberry hearts as we discussed looking good i'll grab these just in case ah oh, ah oh, just sad really just sad though to be fair all right, it's a very good job we started with Dr. Fetus because what have we really found on this run? 
like, nothing really. Oh, no, no, actually, we'd have brimstone at this point, wouldn't we? But apart from that, we've not found any really significant upgrades. Like, just a few bits of tears and a tiny smidgen of damage. But we'd basically, at this point, be firing very fast brimstones, which would do lovely. But before that, not great. No, the Curved Horn would have been a much bigger boost, as would Cancer, so maybe I'm overreacting on how bad this run would be without actually having uh, ourselves the Doctor Fetus. Ha 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 I'm leaving. I mean, I don't know why Mandark keeps trying to crush me with his giant flesh hands that he's invented, but I really wish he'd focus more on Dexter than little old me. I mean, it just seems, just seems ridiculous at this point. It really does. <sighs> I do like runs like this, though. They're just, they're just very chill, you know? I don't have to be, I don't have to be too upset that everything might go horribly wrong. I can just nicely relax, although now I've got to go back through. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Okay, we're good. Oh, come on. That is so sad. And uh, I am going to leave once more. Ha ha! Okay, looking good. I'm assuming then, probably from the big room. Seems like a sensible thing. That's a lot of worms. And I am actually moving really slowly, which is an issue. Like, it's gonna really affect me on later bosses. I mean, actually, no, because I've got the ball and chain, I can at least just kind of chill and let it absorb all the shots while I face Isaac, so it shouldn't be that bad, but I don't know. I mean, it depends what kind of things we end up seeing. Actually, hematemesis. Hema, hema hey, I said it right for once! It's just going to give Dark Bum a load of fuel, so that is really, really good. I'm glad I realized how many of you would have been super upset if I'd walked away from that without getting all the free hearts. I bet at least a couple of you, and I'm talking like three. Granted, a couple means two, so, you know, I'm just completely wrong at that point. All right, am I right? Okay, listen up. Am I right that a couple is two, a few is three, and some is four? You know, they are the universal numbers that those words apply to. And I don't care if you think I'm wrong, because I'm not wrong. That is what they apply to, okay? At very least, a few is three. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Oh, good. Exactly. Oh, no, I didn't get to exactly 30 coins. Did someone else steal the coin? I feel like that's what just happened there. Either way, it lives. How are you doing? Oh, only to half health with one blast. That is definitely interesting to me. All right, let us get our bomb in. Oh, I'm doing a fair amount of damage, although not as much as I would like. I feel like because of this, Isaac is actually going to be quite the issue. And Devil Deal! Not a great Devil Deal. I'll be, I'll be real here. I mean, a part of me wants to use the Dice Shard, but at the same time, there's nothing crazy we even want from a Devil Deal, so I'll just make my way through the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, suddenly things might be changing for us, especially if one of these is a Perthro. Vision, Burkano, that's kind of nice to have, obviously. Dagaz, we'll just get the uh, Spirit Heart from Passage. We'll see if we get some ladders. We don't. And Algir is... Ah, yeah, yeah. All right, because we've got Algis, which is just amazing, I think what we will do is use the dice to reroll the Devil Deal. Just because then we can take the resistance and kind of just... Ooh! Don't mind if I do. We'll grab the Guppy, then we'll get rid of the Red Heart with the Pentagram. We've got Leviathan. That worked out very nicely for us. Fortunately, no finished Guppy, but then again, Guppy with Dr. Vetus is terrible anyway. Is Vision better than Resistance? I think, ah, I think, I think, I think, I think vision is better, mainly because of the chest. If we can vision through the chest, it saves me having to doctor fetus through it, which is quite dangerous. There's a lot of ways to bomb yourself on the chest, so I'm gonna go with vision. It's, it's really kind of 50-50, honestly, but I'm not that worried about the blue baby fight that I'm like, oh, I need a rune to guarantee beat him, you know, I'm not, I'm not that concerned all up in here, so I think we'll be okay. Though it is going to be a lot of fun killing this guy. Oh, I'm excited. You know, this is going to be great. Oh, look how much fun he is to beat. Hey, there we go. We got him. We got him. Hey, Daddy Long Legs. How are you doing? Pretty good? I hope so. I really do. And by I hope so, I mean this is going to take a while to kill you. Yes, it is. <laughs> 
One more, please. Ah, why? Why do you have to do this? I do like that he keeps standing on the really sharp metal ball. Daddy Longlegs is doing the Isaac equivalent of repeatedly standing on Lego right now, and I almost feel bad for him. You know, emphasis on almost here. No, there we go. God damn, that would have been irritating. So we've got a sin all up in here. Not that that really matters. We actually gained a fairly large amount of health from doing that. So that's all good. Holy hell, this is really... Really one of those cathedrals, isn't it? We are going in so many of the wrong directions, it doesn't even bear thinking about. Uh, if I could just open you, that's great. Uh, and we'll head down there. I just don't want to risk taking any damage that I don't have to take. We'll probably go visit the secret room, just in case of something very good. Ooh, this looks like <laughs> two of them here! Yeah! Alright, Isaac, should have done one more room for... Krampus' head actually did not realize how close we were to it, but that's okay. And if I could just please be allowed to get near the thing. I mean, while I'm invincible, I don't mind just going for it. That bomb will kill him, so that's okay. Ah, goddamn, I got hit by the thing. Everybody knows you don't get hit by the thing. That's just embarrassing. Please, please be fine. Yay, I'm fine. All right, I'm super fine. You know I'm fine. You know my Eden is looking sexy as hell. Alright, Isaac, have a few more bombs for you. Imagine if this was just rebuff. Starting with just Dr. Fetus would actually have been terrible, because it would have been pre-buff, which is just awful. Absolutely awful. We may as well get the super secret just to see what is there. You know, let's not waste the mic. Great! That room is so pointless! Why? Why does it exist? <laughs> Why does it exist? Okay, moving on with our lives. Uh, here we are. Darkness, well, could be worse, I suppose. And that's a very interesting set of items. That's really quite interesting. I mean, I will get them all, because we don't really have a choice, but still, goddamn. Does the sticky bomb even do anything with Dr. Vetus? I mean, I highly doubt it, but you never know at this point. And there we go, looking good. Did they move it while they were in the air? Because I'll be honest, that seems a little unfair that they could move something on the floor while jumping above it. You know, that that seems that seems like they're playing with the rules just a little bit. You know, you can't break physics just to kill me, Monstro. I know you're bitter, but that's ridiculous. Nothing crazy there. All right, moving on. Couple wretcheds aren't going to be a problem. I do like that they have a scar going down them, like someone has autopsied them and then brought them back to life, Frankenstein style, which is kind of cool. But then it makes you wonder who the hell is bringing all these dead monsters back to life. I really hope in a future expansion we get, like, the architect of all the undead bosses, because that would just be badass to see. And I am happy that we basically have 11 lives all up in here. It would take some serious Disaster level death to end this run at this point. I feel so. Yeah, for bloody teen. I kind of want to use Crumbs' head on this room, but it just seems really not worth it. Especially as we just got two more black hearts, so that is awesome. Absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. A couple black hearts there, looking good. Oh, just one, in fact. I don't know. I was just optimistic that we were getting more than that, and then we didn't, and I know it's sad. I do like that there is a moment before the Dingle Dangles are technically active that they just have to stand there and kind of accept whatever horribleness is currently before falling them. This is an interesting combo of enemies. Not really that threatening, but, you know, certainly interesting. And, ooh, that was not supposed to happen, but we did get a spirit heart for our troubles, so that's nice. And you are going to get killed. No, you're not gonna get killed. Where was the brimstone, then? That seems interesting. Surely there should have been one. Unless I'm going crazy. I'm probably going crazy. Who knows at this point. Alright, if we cut through the secret room, we can at least miss uh, one of the things. Is it just me? Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. That is adorable. Imagine if I had to commit to fighting that. How just horrendous would that have been? I actually think of anything worse than that. 
And then uh, Blue, uh, baby. How are you doing, baby Blue? I mean, I'm not really worried about this. I could stand there tanking him all day, and he would definitely die before I would. Did I just... Oh, yeah, I remember. I do actually get Brimstone with Dr. Fetus. I completely uh, neglected that fact, but it also, you know, doesn't matter. Let's be real here. It really, really doesn't matter. All right. Uh, like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and 14 is ours. Uh, good boy. <laughs>